flakes of shit foam spitting from her asshole all over the back windscreen. So she was one of the worst kindergarten teachers I've ever had. <laughs> welcome to. A, welcome to. A, stole my life, life, on floor, life. On the floor. Episode number nine of the Marty and Michael podcast. We are in the middle of a pandemic. It's 2020, and we are. We've been at home for so long. You can't you can't do anything on the weekends. So we just we be just it's, it's we signed like, up to masterclass. Yeah, we've been trying to keep ourselves entertained um, and trying to trying to do things that aren't just wasting time, like watching TV. Oh. We've been filming a lot, but we're so restricted. You can't go outside. We can't do many experiments. You can't really plan good pranks because we're just here the whole time. Yeah, we're sort of stuck with each other. Matt's not meant to be here. This is yeah, yeah we we break the rules. This is we're meant to be you in isolation. He's camera. not meant to be here. If anyone from Wholesome's watching, make sure you reprimand him because he's not meant to be here. That's a beautiful word. Reprimand. I just checked though. The rules says you are allowed to have um, one to two people visit you, but no mass gatherings. So we're in the clear. Mm-hmm. That's not a DJ stole my life, 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 life. <laughs> shit talk. There's not much to shit talk about. Like, what are we doing on the weekends? Oh, we just lay around and watch Netflix? I watched, oh, what did I watch? That Tiger King thing? That's pretty fucking awesome. That was. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you said you weren't into it as much as I was. No, the first episode was shit. It's like, oh, yeah, it's fucking people who just have wild animals. Big, big fucking deal. And then you sort of, then the, you, you get to know the characters and it's just shocking. It's Do you reckon shocking. she killed her husband? Yeah, of course she did. Carol Baskin. Is that a name? Carol Baskin. And Robbins. And she's just fucked. She was fucked when she was 14. Gang fucked. Gang fucked by a couple of blokes from across the road. And then she married some dude who beat the fucking piss out of her for years. And then she fucked off with her kid. Of course, that's going to fuck anyone up in the head, man. Matt. I, was too Matt had st- I was far too stoned for the series because I don't remember that at all. I wrote it all down, eh? That's not a DJ stole my life, life, life. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we've just been filming we've been filming website content this podcast is proudly brought to you by university of markle our website go www.universityofmarkle.com right uh we you have hours and hours now like well over six hours of unseen content that we can't post to social media Michael put dog shit all over his face from like a dog shit makeup tutorial recently. We fucking uh, uh, slingshot. We did some house tours. Oh, we already said that last week. House tours. tours. We've done. It's just heaps of. cribs. And tomorrow we're filming another website video where we're, um, it's going to be a tennis game, except we're just going to be trying to hurt each other a lot. So just go and have a look. You don't have to sign up. You don't have to sign up, but just go and have a look. If you like the podcast, you want to support it. If you want to see. You don't have to sign up. Just have a look at it. All right. Sign up, so you have to sign up. Not a DJ, 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 wife. Yeah. So uh, not a shit talk. I'm sorry. There's not much, but I'll tell you one thing. I'll tell you one thing. Fart. <laughs> Matthew Brown works at Wholesome, right? <laughs> That's where he works. Wholesome. H O L C I M. They got headquarters there in Milton. And he's got he's he's working his up way up the ranks, and he came he came from wholesome today, finished his day job at wholesome, came here and he started researching right at about midday. I saw him ran in with a panicked look on his face, pulled his laptop out and started researching furiously for the facts. These aren't theories. This is the, for the facts that on the segment on this day. On this day, these are facts, cold hard facts from Matthew Brown, who works at Wholesome. <laughs> you might be wondering why there's cuts all over my face. It's because Michael pulled my pizza out of the oven and fucking pegged it at my face. The video should be out right now on yeah, Facebook, wow, be. YouTube, and Instagram. That's not a DJ, my life Wife. on the floor. All right, so uh, this is all factual. This is, uh, like I said, and Matt works very hard to put these facts together. This, he, you know, the people he knows, the people he has to get into contact with to put these facts together. It's, just, it's honestly, it's mind blowing. I still don't know how he does it. Anyway, 
<clears throat> Let us begin. On this day in 1960, Russell Crowe King hit six nuns and remained erect throughout his entire court hearing the following year. <laughs> he King hit six nuns in the 60s and stayed hard throughout the entire court hearing the following year. Did not know that. How is that not? You Google it and nothing comes up. Google doesn't even know. How do Matthew you find Brown. This? It's unbelievable. He writes emails. He just fucking emails people. <laughs> he, faxes. he spoke to one of the nuns. He sends faxes. All right. On this day in 1936, Elvis Presley fucked a local school teacher so violently that he ended up with cerebral palsy. The authorities dropped all charges when Elvis dedicated his hit song, You Ain't Nothing But a Hound Dog, to his victim. Well, at least he, that's, that's a big song. I did not know that that song was about that. So there you go. You can it paints a very graphic <laughs> visual image. Did he fuck him till he had syrup, cerebral palsy? Fucked him so violently that, that, he, that he ended up with, yeah. Like he must have woken up the next day and his spine was all twisted and he was all in a is wheelchair. Is that what that is? I think so, yeah. Matt, can you just Isn't check what- Isn't it like what, MS? Can you just check what cerebral palsy is first, please? <laughs> it's like MS. I'm used to, like, I'm, that's why I've got a connection with it. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure you dated a chick with cerebral palsy. Fucking dare say that. That's, That's a special secret. Only for the fully actual listeners. That's so wrong. Um, cerebral I don't know how to open this. I'll show you. I need to get a, a podcast bottle opener. Oh, shit, I thought that would work. So uh, I got more here. Thank you. Yeah, go on, man. Angry dad. Um, cerebral palsy is a group of permanent movement disorders that appear in early childhood. Signs and symptoms vary among people and over time. Often symptoms include poor coordination, stiff muscles, weak <laughs> muscles, and tremors. <laughs> Just like there, Parkinson's. There may be problems with sensation, vision, hearing, swallowing, and speaking. It's nothing to do with their bones. What do you mean? I'm just reading the facts that Matt Brown fucking yeah, gave us. Yeah, All right, true. so there you go. So it would have been, it sounds horrific. So fair enough. He should have dedicated a song. Oh. He probably should have been prosecuted, but anyway. And um, for the record, Matt wasn't, he didn't Google that. He just knew that. It probably sounded like he was reading because his voice is really monotone, but he was actually, he just knew that straight from his head. That's how. He's like an encyclopedia. A little bit. A little bit. <clears throat> And on this day in 1993, Gordon Ramsay tore his ass cheeks apart and swore at an employee directly from his asshole, making him the first person in the world to grow vocal cords in his colon. That's unbelievable. That's amazing. I love Gordon Ramsay. He can swear from his ass as well. I didn't know that. Again, that's the fir as a first that, for everything. And that, that would be the like the, that. the ultimate insult. If you do something wrong in his kitchen and he pulls his pants down and pulls his cheeks apart and you get a fucking mouthful from his asshole. Imagine if he spat as he spoke from his bum. He would. He would do that. Little shit crystals all over the face. What's the song we've been singing? DJ stole my wife. Oh, okay, yeah, I was just about to sing it, but I forgot. Speaking of DJs, <clears throat> on this day in 2007... A mediocre DJ known as Will Sparks was found searching through a bin outside a brothel. When questioned, he admitted he was looking for his favorite toy car, which he had misplaced while he was being thumbed by a blind prostitute. Fuck you, Will Sparks. I don't know who that is. Will Sparks? Is Will, that I don't know. He's like some shit person who presses a button and then goes like this. Oh, so there you go. I did not know that. I don't remember know. when we were at his half hour show that he never showed up to. Oh, and we had Sparks. Yeah, right. Yeah, we had okay. People yeah. coming up to me saying, "Dude, I love your stuff." Because I apparently I look like. Yeah, you her. look exactly like him. All right. Next. <laughs> next That's segment. Not a DJ stall on the floor. All right. Uh, next segment, which has of course been renamed. Hey, what was that, Matt from Wholesome? I just googled him. Just as, I never, I didn't. Do know I sort of look like. like her? A little bit. Oh man, what are the hurts, differences? Eh? He's, he goes to the gym a bit more, doesn't he? Yeah, hey. he looks like he goes to the gym a bit more. So he Maybe has a some, he has a much better it's been body. A week it looks like he has some skin care as well. All right, so he's oh, much, he's a much shit, better that, looking yeah. version of Michael. Oh. oh, 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 oh. According to our researcher. Well, I guess it does fucking make sense, the song we've been singing. 
Last DJ night, stole, DJ my, stole life. my life. <laughs> <laughs> we should have sung that at that gig, man. We should have got up there and busted it out. Imagine that. <laughs> Imagine if we did a song there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so it's good. This segment has been renamed to... <laughs> Fuck. I like the first sound, though. <laughs> It was so interesting. And this is a segment that. where we just answer questions. <clears throat> Hard to pronounce that one. That you guys have sent in via Instagram. Oh, yeah. Well, thank you, people. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> Imagine if you did it. You know? <laughs> he has got poetic justice liquid all over his tits. Man, Matt's not going to be happy about the cord. <clears throat> Matt's not going to be happy about the cord. Michael did that. It's not on the cord. Yeah, I know. You lied. You're trying to I get need in a trouble. What? I wipe it on me. Um, <clears throat> thank you, DJ, Angry Dad, DJ, and uh, DJ, DJ. thank you, Angry Dad, and Dylan and Mitch for sending us these poetic justice four cartons of piss. Yeah, so that'll keep this one busy for a couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're yummy. It's like two point one standard drinks per one of these little things. That's why Michael likes it the most. They're like cruises, but better alcohol. Yeah. That's not a dick. Stole my wife on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> that's our latest question. jingle. Okay. Wait, wait. There's so many. That's not a... That's not a... That's not a... I can't stop the song, dude. It's so addictive. All right. The question is from... Mikom Hirhokovic. <clears throat> He's Dutch. If a cow's head was replaced with Michael's, would you still fuck him? Yes. Of course I would. A cow's a cow. It doesn't matter what its head is. As long as it still behaved like a cow. I think it would be like a special dark twist on it. To see Michael's little head on a huge cow body. Would you have to get drunk? And he'd be singing that song. That's not it. As I approached him, he had a a big smile on his face. That's not it. And he's got that hair to grab onto. That's not a DJ. To help thrust it backwards into my hips. That's not a DJ. So, Yes. On the floor. All right, that song's going to be happening a lot throughout this podcast. I can't stop. That's, as soon as Matt got here, that's all we've pretty much said to him. Matthew Brown from Wholesome. Awesome. That's what we've said to him. All right, next question is from Nathan underscore Lanham. Since you guys are the best and are better than Stephen Hawking's, yep. I love the S on the end of Hawking. <laughs> it's so hot. At science, did you create the coronavirus in your science labs so you could kill Judge Judy? No, that was that had nothing to do with us, believe it or not. We have we have the technology. I knew about it. I'm going to say I knew. I actually did really? know about it, yeah. What, before that before it was a bit of hearsay hearsay throughout the science with world? The, talking yeah. to the the bats behind closed doors, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, there you go. All right. So it turns out we did have something to I do. did, yeah. I didn't let anyone yeah, anyway. All right, we, well, we, maybe we'll just 50-50. Cut that, Connor. Because we don't want people knowing that we had something to do with, do with that. That's not a DJ stole my life. Monique underscore Morris <laughs> dot dot dot. Sorry, it just ran it, out. They're in a room, can't read the whole username. <clears throat> Marty, would you rather have one more fuck with your notorious cow or cut Michael's hair again? That's so easy. And, my, uh, and I've got a, a question after that. Michael, do you know about the shit sandwich? What's the shit sandwich? Did you put shit in my fucking sandwich? That's not a... D- Stole my on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I don't do, I don't do the same cow twice. On very, <laughs> you, ra- you normally <laughs> kill them after on very, you on very it. rare occasions. And l- I'll come back to visit the body, the bloated <laughs> corpse, to see my jizz festering in its asshole. <laughs> But yeah, usually the cows are uh, so physically torn to shreds that uh, it would be impossible to have sex with it again without uh, alerting the authorities. Oh, so no. And what's this shit sandwich stuff? I'm not sure. I googled shit sandwich just to find out if there was anything going on. So far, I've only found that there's a saying in town. Saying a shit sandwich is a method of delivering some bad news. So deliver this shit sandwich to somebody. Mm. As in deliver this bad news to somebody. I'm going to start using that all the time. I've just come up with an idea. Okay. For skin. A website video. Eating a shit sandwich. <laughs> 
That's a great idea. A cow pat. You could just put. A, I could do that. A dried cow pat in between two pieces of bread. I'd do that with for some the barbecue website. sauce. So if you want to see that, subscribe to our website. Universityofmichael.com. <clears throat> All right, next question is from Jess.Kidden underscore. Would you rather have testicles for toes or dicks for fingers? Don't forget to think about stubbing your testicle toe. Would you rather have testicles for toes or f- dicks? For- I'd probably have dicks for fingers because you can't really. It'd be better for fingering. Mm. Yeah, and like. You could get like. You can't really. Four wa- dicks. Plus, imagine. Instead of like tr- using fingers, you could get four dicks in them. Yeah, and and ima- I wonder if they'd get hard though. If they'd just be floppy little oh, flaccid yeah, things, you'd have to force it in. And then when you get, ho- you wouldn't be able to hide your horniness. <laughs> <laughs> your fingers would get all stiff and long. Yeah, the hotter the girl, it just go one up, <laughs> two up, three up, ten up, straight bang. What about when you come? Yeah, it shoots out a. You'd be Spider Man. <laughs> Dude, I'd have That's dicks and fingers. That's I'd have what Spider Man is. He's dick fingers. Oh my god. Also, with testicles for toes, you wouldn't be able to run because of the incredible pain. Yeah, fuck that. You can't walk. You're basically Stephen Hawking. You're putting your entire body weight on your testicles. Now there's ten times the pain. Yeah, fuck that. Definitely dick for fingers. All right, next question. James DeMaria. Why does Michael always look like he's got a dildo up his ass ha! all the time? Next question. Next one's Jude Francis underscore. What inspired you? I guess growing up and stuff. Yeah, just like, just growing up. Inspired you? Growing growing up, like, was really inspirational. Because, you know, you start out so young. You're fucking like, all like you're three years old and then you're like, one day you're five years years old. Years like. Five years old and then you're like, oh, fucking hell. And then like, a couple of days later, you're fucking eight years old. And then it's like you, you know, it's it's inspirational that you that you're growing up. So I think just growing up was inspirational. You never fucking grew up. Yeah, but like physically, you know what I mean. Like, we're oh just, yeah, it's we're cool. Just getting to, older, yeah. and now we're like, now it's like, fuck, I'm thirty. It's like so motivating. No, it's not. That we're thirty. Getting old sucks. It's very. I find I I draw inspiration from just like, oh fuck, I'm I'm a bit older now. I, I'm getting into colors lately. Like I see a color and I'm like, whoa. We're all going to die one day. Everyone. Yeah, I know. It sucks to think about Everyone that. listening. Everyone. Makes me want to have another sip. Everyone listening. Everyone. Well, us two will die soon. Matt, you're gone. <laughs> you're definitely gone. There's everyone listening, people commenting, sharing. You're all dead. Everyone's going to die one day. So, draw inspiration from the fact that you will be dead. So, just enjoy the moments you have when because, you're not dead. Because one day you ain't going to have no moments left. You're not breathing no more. No you're going to be an unconscious no fucking corpse under the fucking ground, cunt. And it will be set in concrete. And you won't Matt. be remembered. Matt, your grave is going to be built out of concrete. concrete. You'll have a wholesome statue. <laughs> in Milton. <laughs> <laughs> All right, G Higgins O three. Is Marty's last name actually Artie? Ooh, your last name I can't fucking drag or talk. Your last name is, is disgusting. Artie. Is Artie? Okay, so, but his real one is it, fucked. So just like mine. So my last, my real na- last name is Artie. Poland. You're just saying that because. Jews are from there and you hate Jews. No, that's where your heritage is. <laughs> the last name Ari does come from Poland. Oh, all right, we'll leave it at that. D underscore Nemel. Dear Rick and Morty. <laughs> I got to watch that show. Nutshots or headshots? Headshots. Nutshots. Oh, de- depends what it yeah, is. It depends on the object. A golf ball pegged at your nut or your head? Nut. Yeah, you'd have to go nuts. Because it's going to crack your skull. Yeah, you could die. Um, what about like a beanbag? Or an axe? A beanbag, easy to the head. You wouldn't want your, your, your fucking... Beard. Yeah. A kick? A kick? Oh, well, Lockie from Jackson took a kick to the head. On the And he was fine, yeah. Yeah, yeah head. probably head. A side of the head, just not the temple. We know this. The underscore Kiwi underscore 93. Why is it that Michael... Full stop. Marty, why are you? Yeah, so great question. So about 14 months ago, we were out west doing some work for some farmers, building some fences, and the storms rolled in and we had to get out of there. So we uh, took the truck 
uh, followed the train line down to Carrara, and from there we just sort of walked straight back to Brisbane. I get that. Oh, I think was I there? Well, you were there, but you weren't. You weren't awake. You were like passed out. You were the sheet metal on the back of the truck. You were the sheet metal. Remember that week you were sheet metal? Oh yeah, that was such a metally week. <laughs> That's not a digital life for J three T T underscore M. Would Michael fuck a camel? If we Would were that- in a farm, me and Marty, and we had nothing, we we're stuck in a farm for a year, right? We're in a, a not a farm, a zoo. We can't leave the zoo. Fuck, that'd be a good life. Be a zoo animal in a cage, just in our own cage, Marty and Michael. No, well, I'd rather be me. Well, I don't you want just to be wait, an animal. You know, yeah, but we're just in a cage, not with other animals, but we are the animals in a cage. And then people just walk past and like take photos of us and wave at us. And we just lie there and get fed and like... People say, yeah, it's like fucked for the, you know, it's not their like nature. But it would be pretty cool getting everything done for you. But I guess you don't have any freedom. But you've got your friends there. You can hang out, play on the tire swings, say like gorillas and monkeys. They just play on the tire swings, go for swims, get fed, as you said, three times a day or four, five. I would um, suggest not to have sex with a camel. Um, A Saudi Arabian man, 26 years old, recently had sex with a camel and uh, received two months jail and a thousand lashes. Yeah, but what Saudi Arabia, they won't, I guess you can't really fuck animals here too. Wonder How, two months. Two months jail. That's and not a that much. I, I reckon I could take a thousand lashes. Yeah, I was just about to say we should see if we could take the punishment for fucking a camel. We'll do the punishment first, and then we get a free fuck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. True. I'll buy a whip. No, I'd only do it if we were stuck in a zoo for a year, and we. Oh fuck! We'd have to be camels because you'd be. I'd just do it from peer pressure because you'd be fucking cows. And I'd get bored. I don't think they'd let cows near me. Publicly, I don't think that they would let cows near me. It would be very horrific for the children to see. Would you like to hear... Yeah, no, a zoo where we're just in the zoo. It's a lockdown zoo. It's the fucking pandemic. What a a shit zoo. Do you want to hear the man's excuse, though, for... He was horny? (laughs) No. He says when when he was caught, he was performing fellatio, which is... Sucking it off. Um, And when when he was caught, uh, he told the person that uh, he was trying to drink the sperm of the camel to cure his cold sores. I wonder if that works. There's another experiment for the website. What a strange man or what a strange excuse. I like him. All right. Next question is from Jake Jake underscore Burgess dot 14. Hey, fellas. What is one memory that you remember of the other person that will never stop making you piss yourself of laughter? The thing that always made us chuckle for a while was the um, the fact that we kidnapped that dude <laughs> and beat the shit out of him in a forest. We had a good couple months after that one where I'd be in the shower feeling sick for fucking days. You know, when you're alone and you thought about it by yourself. Yeah. I still but then, think about it. Yeah, I know. Like, it's so but It's good how time heals shit. Because it's been like, what, three, two, three years now. And now we've, like, the time has made it funny. Hence why we've told you guys. I can't remember the podcast number. Maybe it was 38, I think. Go back to that one. Um, yeah, it's sometimes we look back at that and have giggles. The, the, um, so, some of the times that um, were funny was when uh, Michael went through the phase of there'd be people, friends coming over, and he'd go to the bathroom and shit in his hands and, and bring it out. And just the reactions of the people that were over at his house would always be just like, Am I gonna, what, what do I do with this? And then, yeah, act like and then I didn't know what to do. Me or Henry would always, always manage to knock this shit yeah, out of his hand. I'd try and run away and Marty would knock it out of my head. And it would next minute this slap shit, against the wall and shit, slide down. Shit all over the wall. Poor my poor parents. That always gave me a bit of a chuckle. Too. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a... Stranger's dream. I sailed away to. There's two birds on my car. Yeah, they're probably the, the tomato sauce. They'd be eating it. Oh, yeah. And there's eggs on there too. Shit. All right. Bapu765. How old is Bosley? Seven yesterday. Yeah. Bosley's birthday yesterday. We took him to the beach and then I fed him a kilo of I fillet steak, which he was very happy with. So yeah, he's seven years old. Aaron Hargis Photo. 
Fully actual podcast question. Would you rather have part of skin from your dick torn off because it got stuck in someone's braces? Mm-hmm. Or two, get your asshole fingered by someone who just got finished eating spicy buffalo wings, causing your insides to feel as if they're on fire. Oh, For, uh, ass second one. Yeah, I can't. Easy. That Not is... when your dick ripped. Yeah, it's too simple. That's too ripped simple. dick skin or fingers in the ass with a bit of spice on them? The ass. Uh, yeah, there's no I'm... long-term repercussions on the second one. The yeah, first one, you're you... fucked. Oh, and like if, I'm, if a girl with braces is giving me head, one... That means that she's probably quite young, and and you know that's that's not okay now because we're we're quite a bit old. Yeah, people with braces are usually in their teens. <laughs> How did you bring it there? <laughs> <laughs> For both of you, what's a type of food that could make you throw up nearly instantly? Um, probably um, eggs. Eggs are fucked. I don't get why people eat eggs. It's a chicken period. It's a fucking half developed bird, sort of, that's just all gooey. That yellow shit, the oak, can get fucked. The white stuff, if I had to, I'd eat, but I would never do it. Whenever I get fried rice, I ask for no egg. I will never eat egg. The smell of egg is fucked. It's just. N- don't eat eggs. I like eggs. The thing that would make me throw up is like eyes, eating an eyeball. That's not really a food, but I think that that would make me gag. Imagine and also chewing into it, it'd like squirt out as yeah, you bit it. it uh, uh, the texture would be. <sighs> and surf streaming, surf streaming fish. We did a video on that. It's like this fish that is just baking in its own bacteria. We did a video on it, and yeah, it's nearly impossible to eat that without gagging very violently. Oh, it's nearly making me. Gag thinking about it. <clears throat> That's not a strangest dream. Matt Chu T, would you rather bang your mother's mind in your girlfriend's body or your girlfriend's mind in your mother's body? Shit. Whoa, that's a good one. Shit. Ah, oh, shit. I probably. I'd do tell, both. I'd, I'd tell. <laughs> I'd have a threesome with both of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'd probably. Oh no. I'd probably do, I'd probably... Lights off with your mum because she's out of her body in your girlfriend's body so she doesn't know what's going on. I've got on. a solution after this, yep. And then I'd probably go mum's body but lights are off so I can just imagine my girlfriend and then uh, my mum's in my girlfriend's body so she doesn't know what's happened. She just knows that, oh, yuck. <laughs> mm, your mum's quite sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I'd choose my mother's mind in my girlfriend's body, but hear me out. I would, um, I would hit, I would hit her, knock her out unconscious, and then quickly, very quickly, have sex with it. So, you know, she, and then when she comes to, I just say, "Oh yeah, you were hit by a, a beam, a, a beam of wood." Oh yeah, they always fall about those things. So yeah, so no, no one's a wiser, and I'm not actually having sex with my mother's mind because she's not there. It's a vacant mind now. I tell you, get rid of a mind, you king hit. What is your favorite disease from Crazy Human underscore eighteen seventy one? My favorite disease would have to be um, the Stephen Hawking's one. Yeah, whatever that Stephen one was. Stephen Hawking's disease. Yeah, that's a good one. That one or um. Huntington's disease, where your uh, muscles uh, get eaten away. That's a good one, too. Until you uh, can't walk and shit. Great question. No more of that. P.O. Box. No. (laughs) You don't even know what it is yet. Oh, true. Okay, let's open it up. All right, guys, time for our next segment, which has been renamed to... <laughs> you still don't you show me where it is! You show me where it is! I need it right now! You can't come here and do that to me! And this is a segment where we just open things that you guys have sent in via our P.O. box, which is... 256 Tagum 4018 uh, So this week, uh, we didn't go to our P.O. box and we didn't get sent anything. So we've had to um, pretend that we got sent something. Fine, and I have we, one more. And then we wrapped it up in this paper here. So uh, let's see what it is this week. <clears throat> All right. So here we have uh, hairspray. Oh, so someone sent us hairspray. Thank you very much. And that is how you use it. 
you got to push that white button down and then the hairspray comes out. And then you can go ahead and style your hair. Michael's saying put it away. All right, that is the end of our PO Box unboxing segment. All right, moving on. Uh, we have a new segment now and it's really gaining some traction. Uh, Michael's just popped off to get his cactus for his new segment called uh, Stunt Time. And I'm just, while he's away, I'm quickly just spraying this hairspray into his drink. That was sent in via our PO box. Okay, here he comes. It's a brand new segment. It went really well last week and uh, it's back again this week. It's called Michael's, it's called Stunt Time. Fuck, I've already fucked myself with it. All right, what do we got for Stunt Time okay, this week, so Michael? this is called Hot Potato Cactus. But, yeah. Hot it's potato, hot. but in, and in brackets, but cactus. Fuck, so hot potato that. in brackets, but it's a cactus. Yeah. So why don't you tell us what's going? What what happens? <laughs> I've already fucking. He's got a few spines in his hands. Okay, so the objective of this stunt is to always be yourself. No, you've got to use the cactus like a hot potato. Oh my god, I've already fucked everything up. Hey, god damn it, cacti sucks. So. You've got to, like a hot potato, we'll go one for one. I'll hit it up. You hit it. You've got to get 10 hits. Connor, I just bumped the camera. If you can somehow cut that, that'd be good. Thanks. I think leave it. That's pretty rude to spit that drink back. <laughs> what the fuck was that? What are you... Oh... That was so fucking disgusting. <laughs> My teeth are burnt. You got pranked. Oh, I'll spit that out, dude. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll make it off oh, here. What about this, right? I'll make it for this week that you have to do it just by yourself and try and get 10. Ah, because it's better coordination. Yeah, yeah. And also, it's also just about being yourself. So make sure you're also just being yourself. Okay. So the objective is. 10 hits. 10. All right, here we go. So, Michael's going to toss a cactus up and he has to hit it up with both hands 10 times. I'll count for you. One, two. Ready? Make sure you're also just being yourself. Okay. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, we've got that. Sun time. Yes. Ah. Shit, fucking stunt time up in this shit man and that's it so for those listening make sure you go to our YouTube to see that because he's got spines all through his hands now those spines are so fine I've had them in my hands and I cannot stand them well fuck I regret that yeah dude I can't believe you did that they're everywhere now alright moving right along to our final segment <laughs> alright um, <clears> the <throat> final segment has been renamed to <laughs> and this segment of course is just a prank call pranks that you guys have sent in to us all right so people have sent in scenarios and their friends' numbers and shit, and we're going to try and fuck with them. All right? All right, so Finlay underscore McIntyre has said, Hey, fellas, I'd love for you if you could call, prank call my brother. He has an extremely loud Land Cruiser ute. Maybe talk about noise complaints. He lives in St. Lucia in Brisbane. He gets quite a few complaints from neighbors when he leaves for work early in the morning, and it pisses him off a lot. All right, so I'll be Trevor from uh, Brisbane City Council, and um, I'll just be uh, calling him because there have been some more noise complaints. Sterling speaking. G'day, Sterling. My name's um, Trevor. I'm just calling from Brisbane City Council. How are you today, mate? Hey, yeah, good, thanks. Um, look, mate, uh, I've, I've had a few complaints coming in, a few noise complaints from um, people surrounding your property. Um, just about uh, a, a noisy car and um, I've just looked you up on the um, computer here and apparently there's been a few uh, complaints. I think that's your, what's that, 
two, five, sixth complaint, which is a compulsory fine that we need to send out. Send out, and also I need to call you. Um, it's just standard protocol to let you know that um, yeah, your neighbours are complaining quite a bit about the noise um, apparently from your car, a a Land Cruiser. All right. Um, yeah. So so the the fine um, has been sent out. Uh, today and you should receive it in uh, two business days um, and it's up to uh, five hundred and sixty dollars and um, yeah mate well it's a uh, six complaints it's um you know it, it, it starts to get a little bit serious after a while especially um, leaving that early in the morning um, in, in a you know a high residential area there in St Lucia um, you know it, it's, it's equivalent to someone pulling out a lawnmower or an air horn at 5 a.m and um, and you know waking people up you, you can sort of see why uh, why the people would be complaining yeah yeah but it's, it's all legal like I'm not doing anything illegal yeah what well, mate the uh, the complaints sort of say otherwise apparently um, a couple of your neighbors think that you've modified your exhaust and that um it's uh, incredibly loud and uh, that you uh, are aware of the complaints and that you um, purposely rev your engine. One person in particular is, is, uh, has complained a few times and actually has sent in a recording. And um, it, it's sort of sounding like that, that you uh, rev your engine for a few few minutes before you leave. Is that you're aware of that? Is that, is that something you're doing on purpose? No, nah, mate. I've, I've never fucking... They, um, who's, who's making the complaints, can I ask? No, mate. Sorry, I'm I'm not allowed to uh, give you that information. It it's uh, sort of submitted anonymously, but um, yeah. So so the five hundred and sixty dollar final come out, and um, I'm afraid if we get any more uh, complaints, there will legal action will have to be taken, and they can uh, the city council can actually seize your car if there's another two complaints. We'll have to inspect it. Surely not. Um... We'd have to. So, so we're actually going to send someone from the city council out tomorrow morning to inspect the car, just to make sure that you haven't actually modified anything. Um, will you be home at around uh, nine a.m.? Mate, I've, I've done anything illegal though. Like, how can they fucking find me something if I've done? I've done it all legally. Post coronavirus. Like, yeah. Look, mate. I'm, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to do my job. I'm, I'm just letting you know that that uh, the fine's been sent out. And also that the, um, the look, to, who knows, the, the person could, uh, the, the councilman could come out tomorrow, check your car and everything will be fine. You, you still, unfortunately, will have to pay the fine. But if your car hasn't been modified, um, there shouldn't be any further issues. As long as you stop uh, purposely revving your engine in the morning for a few minutes before you... Never, I've never, I cannot recall once revving my engine in the morning purposely. All I do is get up and drive to work. Yeah, well, they've sent in a recording, and it's a pretty damning recording. It sort of sounds like you're um, sitting there for, uh, what's it, 150 seconds, so just over two minutes, revving uh, incredibly loudly, and um, and you can be heard laughing as well um, from the car. So it sounds like, a, it sounds like you know, you're doing it intentionally to annoy um, this one neighbor in particular. I've never had a problem with any neighbors or anything like I. I don't even know what to say, mate. Like, 550 bucks. I haven't even done this. In, I've never done that. Yeah, well, look, like I said, mate, I'm just looking at the information in front of me and... um. Yeah. Yeah, the, the council will come come around tomorrow. And and look, if if you if you if what you say is true and you haven't modified your car... What, what did you say your name? Well, sorry. Trevor. Trevor from Brisbane City Council. I can give you my uh, employee ID, if you like, and you can write it down and, and check everything. Oh, mate, like, I, see, I've never had a complaint... At all, like I thought, it would have got a warning first for getting a fucking fine. Well, it says here that uh, warnings have been sent out on the uh, third and fifth occasion, so this is the sixth. I haven't got a single warning. Well, it says here that, that the warnings were received by you, so please don't lie to me, uh, Sterling. That, that it says here that you have acknowledged that you received the warnings here on the. <laughs> because I haven't fucking gotten a warning once. Last, last middle of last November, two thousand and nineteen, you received your first warning. Are you aware of that? You must be taking piss, mate. I've never fucking, I've never gotten a warning in my life about it. Well, it says here that you, that it says here, right, right here, that you received the warning and you acknowledge that you received the warning on your third complaint. I, I have not acknowledged any warnings or anything in my oh, life ever, need to ever. Calm down. Sorry, Sterling, can you just, can you just relax, please, mate? I'm, I'm honestly, I'm just trying to do my job, and uh, would appreciate if you could just try and relax. So, so the councilman should oh, be. At- I don't know what are you talking about, mate? 
Look, Sterling, I'm, I, I'm again, not your mate. I, I'm, I'm not your mate. Look, I'm not your mate. At the end of the day, you're terrorizing your entire neighborhood. Okay, you've you've received this fine, which I which I think is is just. All right, you're this is your I've sixth complaint. I've video. heard the recording. All right, you're revving your engine and laughing at the same time for well over two minutes. Right, so let this be a warning to you. If the councilman comes out and sees that you've we modified your car, we will we will it. be seizing your car. Okay, do you understand that? I know I'm going to be my car. This is fucking you crazy, Trevor. I don't know what you're talking about, mate. Like, seriously. I'm sorry, mate. That's just... That's just this is, these are the legal ramifications if you continue to wake people up at 5 a.m. in the morning, okay? So you can't tell me who this bloke is is making complaints? Of course I'm not allowed to tell you that because then if something happens to him, then, you know, I, I, we would be... Brisbane City Council would be liable. So, of course I'm not allowed to say anything. You idiot. You fucking idiot. <laughs> Fucking that. Yes, yeah, you take your piss. <laughs> 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 I thought of my pizza. I was like, no way. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. Oh, <laughs> you fucking Sterling, oh, it's um much. it's it fucking where, it's Marty and Michael where um <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Finlay sent sent your number in via um Instagram, so we thought we'd, <laughs> we thought we'd stir you up a bit, mate. Oh, that's uh, good. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah this will be on the podcast next, next Monday. Monday. Next Monday. Yeah, I got I got pulled over by the fucking cops the other day about this too. I thought there was no way that that could have already been fucking filed in. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Well, thanks for being a bloody good sport, mate. So, <laughs> sorry to roll you up there. <laughs> no, I'm good. Thanks, boy. That's awesome. No worries, mate. You have a good day and you bloody don't rev that engine, mate. <laughs> <laughs> right, see you, boys. See you, buddy. See you, dude. That was so good. Uh, Fuck, I wish you didn't laugh. <laughs> it kept him going for long. <laughs> It was too much, you fucking idiot. <laughs> it's so rude. Yeah. You're meant to be Brisbane City Council swearing at the people you charge. I like to try and get progressively really annoyed at them, but then I just skipped ahead to the end. Yeah. Oh. Fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna seize your car. Oh, dude! That Very good, smart. guys. Keep sending in those those prank calls of I details. Instagram. Okay, we yeah, details. as much detail as you can. Okay, we won't. I won't read. Like, it, don't be worried about me reading out all the details because I won't. We'll cut all that shit out. It's just for me so that I can just prank the fuck out of them. All right. So just keep sending them in via Instagram. It's good shit. It's good shit. And uh, that is the end of episode number nine. We're nearly a quarter of the way through the season. We're a quarter of the way through, through the year. Oh, yeah. Makes sense. No, we're one third. Makes sense. Almost. And then end of April, we're one third. And that's why. We are the best. best. We're the best. best. We're the best. best. We're the best. We're the best. 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 We're the best. 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 We're the best. Fuck the rest. Oh, I was. Ah!